Hey, welcome to my next video on how to tie a double overhand, which is the common knot that I use for a stopper knot in a border culture. It's nice and strong and secure and doesn't work itself free as another common stopper knot used in a border culture being the figure eight knot. So let's get started. I have got my working end of my climber's rope here and I'm simply going to hold it with I've got my left hand here with the working end going towards my right and I'm simply going to make a uh, turn around my fingers. My second turn here being that double overhand. So one turn, my second turn, I'm going to crisscross over to make that second turn. As now that I've got those two turns around my fingers, I'll remove my fingers and pass that working end through those two turns away from that standing part of the rope. I'm going to simply tie, dress and set that knot. And our final product should have an X on the front and two parallel lines on the backside. So we kind of say that's our X11 uh, for our final uh, double overhand stopper knot. Really great knot, I'm gonna break this down show it to you one more time and then I'm going to actually show you an alternative way that many people mistakenly tie this knot. So again we take that rope I'm going to make one turn the second turn I'm going to crisscross over to the standing part of my rope making that second turn and now that I've got two loops on my fingers I'm going to pass that working end through those two turns, pull everything nice and tight, tie, dress, and set. And again, we have that X11 for our final double overhand stop or not. Now, a common way people mistakenly tie this is without that crisscross in that beginning there. So when we tie this and you make two turns um, away from one another and then cross over and put that rope through what you end up with is something like that and if we know what an anchor bend is this is pretty much what an anchor bend looks like and it's not the appropriately tied dress and set double overhand stop or not but if you've tied something like this it's just a simple housekeeping to achieve the appropriately tied dress and set stop or not. And all I'm going to do is take that outer turn that's closest to that working end, give myself a little bit of slack in that knot, and I'm gonna take that outer turn and simply pass it over the first turn and tie dress and set. And there we have it, the appropriate tie dress and set double overhand stop or not. Hope that helps and hopefully you can climb safe out there and have a nice and strong secured stop or not for your climbing systems. Thanks for watching.